In this video, we will tell you how the onboard unit works. It registers the road and distance driven by the vehicle, which is needed to calculate the toll. Now we are ready to set up the onboard unit. Please use the Quick Start Guide for doing this. Check where you can place the onboard unit. In trucks with tinted windscreens, there is usually a designated area without tinting. Clean your windscreen using the provided cloth. Remove the adhesive strips and place the holder at the correct position on the windscreen. Now, click your onboard unit in the holder. There are two ways to power the onboard unit. The first is by plugging the power cable in the cigarette lighter socket, or secondly, by a permanent power connection, for which you can contact your car dealer. For the driver's convenience, we recommend a permanent power connection. The onboard unit will now automatically install itself, which may take a few minutes. We are in Belgium and the toll services for Belgium and Germany were booked beforehand. As soon as the light turns to green, you are ready to go. The display will now show the toll service name, the license plate number, and when relevant, the weight, the number of axles, and the Euro emission class. Indicated on the right side of the display are the power status, the GSM signal strength, and satellite reception. You may choose your language of preference in the onboard unit menu. The display shows what the actual toll situation is. Currently, we are driving in Belgium, and our onboard unit shows BE VIA to indicate that the Belgian tolling service is active. BE stands for Belgium, and VIA is the name of the local toll charger. We approach the German border. For Germany, the driver needs to select the correct number of axles of the trailer, and when necessary, the actual maximum weight of the vehicle combination. Enter the onboard unit menu by pressing the button for two seconds. The first level of the menu will be shown language, axles trailer, weight, toll services, axles trailer, and if needed, the weight can be configured by the driver. For axles, select zero if no trailer is present. Select the value if the vehicle is coupled to a trailer. Press the right key quickly for OK and a signal will confirm the save. We recommend an axle and weight selection be done when changing the trailer, independently of any current location. When we cross the border into Germany, we will see that the German toll service is indicated on the onboard unit with DE for Germany and BAG for the local toll charger. You can verify the actual weight and number of trailer axles on the display. The total number of axles, trailer plus tractor, is shown. We now leave Germany and enter the Netherlands. The display will show no service provided, use local toll provider, as no tolling service is provided for the Netherlands. There are two situations where the onboard unit light turns yellow. The first situation occurs when driving in a country for which the toll service has not been booked. The onboard unit display will show the message Service not booked or activated with a yellow light. In this case, please contact your customer service to book the service or check if you have to pay the toll via another provider. The second situation occurs when driving in a country for which the onboard unit does not toll. The onboard unit display will show the message No service provided, use local toll provider with a yellow light. You can continue your trip, but you should check if there is an obligation for toll charging in this new area, and if you have to pay the toll via another provider.